Okay. So, this is Zombie U, and we're gonna start playing. We have campaign. So, the campaign, you have two modes, normal mode, you're gonna, uh, this game is basically a grind, you're gonna die a lot every time you die, well, you'll see, I can explain once we get in, but normal mode is you die, you just continue as a new survivor. Um, survival mode is, uh, you die and so you lose, you have to start over from the beginning, um, kind of sucks. I haven't done it yet. I, that would be super stressful. I've just been doing normal mode. I am still not very far in normal mode. So, um, two and a half hours in, ten survivors. That means I've died ten times. So, anyways, let's jump in. I, I think I'm at a point where, um, where I've just started as a new survivor. So. Game's very heavy on the gamepad. Um, there's going to be a lot of messages on screen telling me to look at the gamepad. So unfortunately, I can't show you that, but I can at least explain what, what's happening. Are you prepared? time and energy. Every time you step out onto the streets, you're risking your... You can stash your weapons, ammo... So look at the Wii U gamepad. So what's happening is, outside, whenever you play this game, give you, options before you, set off. So drop you, whatever you want in here. are... It's, the only time it's paused is when I push this pause button here. But I can't do anything from the pause menu. Um, when I'm looking at inventory on the gamepad, I'm actually seeing what's in the metal container. I can look what's in my bag. Everything I do with my character is pretty much done on the gamepad. I swap weapons. I turn my flashlight on and off. Um, and I've died recently. So my body is still where my mission was. So here we're looking at my gamepad. There's a map. I'm going to go use the map to go to a specific location. I'm actually trying to infiltrate Buckingham Palace. Or I guess I have. The zombie apocalypse has not been kind to Buckingham. Um, so we get to see that. This game's really neat. And it's the game that keeps pulling me back to the Wii U because it's the most unique. Uh, as I was saying on the Gamers Inn uh, yesterday, it's a hell of a lot more unique than Nintendo Land or New Super Mario Bros. U. So, okay, I'm in the underground. Um, I can run. Uh, I've got a cricket bat. That's your melee weapon. It's a very dark game, too. Very moody. It's really hard to tell what's going on. So, uh, don't worry, these zombies harmless. Uh, back again. I'm actually trying to do something for this doctor. Um, well, sorry, but I must return to my work. Do help yourselves with anything you need, don't you? Um, another thing is you got to be careful because zombies will sneak up on you. So I have a radar here. I tap a little button on my gamepad and it basically tells me if there's something nearby. So I mean, this is going to be a new area here. Cricket bat.
retrieve the book. I'm looking for a book. Oh, and shit. Ah! That is not my old body. That is my friend who is also playing this game. So that's interesting. You actually get to witness that firsthand. I'm not sure why he's glowing, but he just took a good fucking chunk of health out of me. And I'm gonna die. And there's another zombie over there. You know, fuck this. I'm pulling out my gun. Dead, crispy. Fucking shit. Okay. So, <clears throat> using your gun not really advised because you have limited ammo. Now, at one point when I was playing this game, oh shit, there's more bad guys. So, okay, I'm looting. As you can see, I can kind of see what's going on on the screen, and I'm and on my uh, on my gamepad, I'm actually drag oh wow he had a lot of stuff when he died um i'm actually literally dragging stuff from the inventory of my friend i just killed here into my inventory so now now we got a good amount of stuff uh but he was super strong that zombie took a good amount of health out of me so i'm gonna just check my surrounding here make sure it's safe A little health. Put some flares. So we're good. I'm gonna reload my gun. I had to kill Crispy there. Poor Crispy didn't see it coming. So we're back and reloaded. Just a second here. Let's kill some more zombies. I can't remember where I died when I played this. Um, but I can see I'm on the right path here. I think it was right here. Oh, yeah. I got swarmed. Um, check my radar. Oh, yeah. It's definitely right here. Another thing they like you to do is pushing the L button on the gamepad brings up your scanner and it allows you to find items in the game um, one thing I will say though I've never noticed this but the uh, people in this game not pretty but then again who is pretty in the zombie apocalypse uh, 
I mean, I doubt many people are. Like, who has time to shower? Actually, it's funny. That's the first thing I think about when it comes... Oh, yeah, it was right here. Fuck. That's the first thing I think about when it comes to zombies is, like... Zombie apocalypse. Where do people go to the bathroom? Where do people shower? They don't shower, obviously, but, I mean... Like in The Walking Dead, the Rick was covered in blood, and then he cuts back, and he's fine. He's He had a shower, and he's feeling a lot better. Okay. There are a good portion of zombies coming at me. So I think what I'm going to do is do the old flare. Go for the flare. Go for the flare. And grenade. Hopefully that works. Why is the grenade going? There it is. Shit. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I am not doing that great, but this cricket bat is just fucking amazing. <sighs> so that was two uh, little multiplayer characters we met in a row. And man, he's got, uh, he died and died with a lot of crap. A lot of flares. Now I wonder. have just kind of doing some inventory management here now that it's quiet just doing a little bit of a little bit of inventory management Do a little scanning Make sure I don't miss any key items. It's always a good idea to take a break. The patients succumb immediately to infection in the region where the malady enters the body. Violent convulsions follow and their veins turn black as ink. Poison blood a little bit of from the wound, a little bit of background like the there, of I guess. Tree, accelerated by unnatural haste. So let me explain this. Um, when you die, you come back and you see your survivor. So Luke Cox, actually, that might have been me, because I think that's that's a survivor generated name. Because usually, if it was like a player, it would show it would show the player name. So that was probably me when I died, because I got swarmed here. It's really easy to die in this game. So here, you see here's a bit of a puzzle. 462, bleh, I died, probably one. Oh, crap. All right, it's just the one. Probably just bat him to death. You don't want to waste ammo. Die! Boom! Take my radar here. Alright, good. And some bullets. Here. 
This cool door. Alright, so you'll see here, um, this is where I died last time because I was swarmed and I'm like, well, fuck it, I'm just going to try and get in this door. Uh, it didn't work out. I died. So you'll see here, this is kind of neat in the sense that when I'm in the gamepad, on the gamepad I have like the keypad and I can try to enter 4621, 462, and then you can also with the camera is I can look around and say, oh, fuck, where are the zombies, and try a bunch of different codes. No, 4621 did not work. 4627, maybe? 4622. 4623. 4624. There it is. Oh, yeah, it's definitely four. What was I thinking? Oh, it's just, it's just a empty room with some loot. Let's hope this is good. Nothing. So when I died before, I died for nothing. Weird. Okay. So I need to get over there, but there's bars. There's a backpack. So I guess... Traverse this. Okay. Um. Whoa. That's not good. Definitely a zombie up there. pick up the damn chocolate bar. I need health. I'm gonna drop these planks. The planks are used. Now that you can definitely use, especially in this bloody place. Nice what the quiet. fuck? Right. 
you're better off to use your melee because you don't want to waste bullets. He's probably right. Beavis. Oh, fuck. Die. Mm. All right. So, I think I need to get to that there. My flashlight's dying. So your flashlight, you can't have it on all the time. It dies, not very quickly, but it dies. Um, This chick is not going to last much longer. She's going to die. And then you get to see how that works. Oh, and you die. You die in spectacular form. Oh! Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I think we sorted out what we need to do. By accident. So let's hope. I see zombie activity. One zo couple zom zombies. Whoa! Uh, shit, shit, shit. Go! Get away! I threw a flare for a reason. on the verge of death, which is not good. I don't think I can watch you die anymore. So, fuck. What happened there is I went to loot and my character snapped to the zombie and I guess he, I guess the character didn't know how to carefully pick the items off the zombie without stepping in the fire. Yeah. So. But this gives us a good point to see what happens when you die. Even if you die by not zombies, which is, that's the first that's ever happened to me. Oh, you look bad. Now I'm an old dude. Where are you going? You're just wasting time and energy. Every time you step out onto the streets, you're risking your neck. And for what? Haven't you been listening to me? You've got to look after number one, nobody else. Okay, so... We'll head on over to the old... old place, Buckingham Palace. Now we gotta, we gotta traverse all that again. 
which really isn't a big deal. It's pretty easy to, to get to where your body is. That's why I said like this game is a real grind, uh, which isn't a bad thing. It still feels really cool, um, but it's a grind. You have to get back to your body and back to your loot, although like that chick really didn't have a lot of loot. As you can see, I've died a lot, so I kind of know well, sorry, but I'm just to my, work. my way around. Do help yourself to anything you need, when you? Oh. So I'm just scanning for items here. Yeah, that's a really good way of putting it. It's a zombie roguelike, but has a story, has a, a, well, story. Sort of, there's a story. There is a story. I mean, I don't want to poo-poo the game. The game's really cool for the story that it has. But you're right, it's like a roguelike, but with a, with a goal. You want to keep going. And you're just, like, you're literally chipping away at this dude who gives you the missions. He chipping away at his overall goal. So let's see if I can do this. Right. So there's a zombie. Just kind of marking these things. So let's kill this fool. <laughs> The angel chided me thus. Ignorance was the nakedness whereby you first were tormented, and the first plague that fell upon man was the wanting of science. The want of science hinders you from knowledge of your own self. my buddy again. So Lou, I don't I don't know if you saw that before, but um, occasionally your friends zombies will show up in your game. So this guy, he must have died while he was going. And I'm totally looting his body. Yeah. So that's interesting.
Yeah, it's really cool the way they kind of populate your game with your friends, survivors who have failed. And I've got a couple messages from my only... My only buddy who plays this. I have appeared in his game. He actually sent me a picture of my body on the ground. He's put me down. So... Oh, I saw a flash up there. There I am. There's me. Annabelle Thomas. The girl who stepped in fire. Who appears to be not doing so hot. Okay, just to make sure she's dead. So I guess because I didn't die via a zombie bite, just laying around? Man, Annabelle was not good at this game. Let's take the important stuff first. Now I'm, I see now I have a ton of items. Yeah, the game um, is pretty gruesome for a zombie game, and I mean, maybe if I can die via a zombie, you'll actually actually see that. But it's it's interesting. It's it's really neat. I'm I'm digging it. Like I said, it's it's the only game that I've gotten on the Wii U that seems to be pulling me back because it's unique. lot of activity. So, I'm, so when you see me with the gamepad like that, I'm scanning the environment for uh, blips. And blips will pop up on my screen. I can mark items, infected, stuff like that. In some subjects, pockets filled with a rich, acrid pus form near hot, inflamed areas around the groin armpits and jaw. I have extracted this liquid for further investigation. That worked out in my favor. I was actually going to use a landmine on them, but I kind of just pushed them into the fire. Whoa! Where'd that fucker come from? Oh. There's a little hole there. Come on, come on, guys. Oh, that worked out nicely. Burn! Alright. 
I'm not gonna go in there quite yet. I'm gonna make sure we're. Still looking for my objective. The patient must be restrained and cannot be calmed by any manner of herbal sedative. She seems ravenous, and nothing I feed her can satiate her monstrous appetite, as if compelled by a most foul instinct to devour all life within her reach. She freed herself of her bonds yesterday and would have gutted our horse alive if I had not reached her in time. I find myself in awe of the piteous state to which man is reduced. A walking conduit, a mere empty coil which lives only to feed its greedy and carnal instincts. Double tap, most important rule about zombie movies is the double tap. And this is what we're looking for.
Man, the... Oh, what have we here? Well, I'm definitely making room for that. Um, you know what? Uh, uh, grenade. Angel chided me thus. Ignorance was the nakedness whereby you first were tormented, and the first plague that fell upon man was the want. That's not good. Yeah, that's a good point. He does kind of look a little like Merle. <laughs> I, I, I've I, died a bunch of times, and I have yet to see... I, I don't think I've seen any duplicates yet, so that's always a good sign. I wonder how many characters they've actually modeled.
So on my gamepad, I see a needle and I just have to tap it on the screen. Holy dude, stop working and just tell me what you fucking want. My radar seems to go off on its own now. Alright, I'm gonna save it. Gonna get ready for zombies. Also, I think this is the first time I've actually completed a mission with full inventory, so usually what I do is I go back to the safe house, dump a bunch of stuff, so then this way when you die, you have, you know, some starting ammo and stuff in your at the safe house, rather than having to wade through a bunch of zombies plus my gamepad's dying the wii u gamepad really dies quickly i mean dies quickly in the sense that an xbox 360 controller will last for weeks but the gamepad will last for basically one sit down to play which is kind of frustrating Great. So you save it by, you have to save at these beds. What's... You have to save at these beds here. Uh, and it also auto saves every time, every time you die. So if you die, you can't like shut your Xbox or your Wii U off. You just have to live with it because it auto saves. Um, Something that you see here, uh, messages left by uh, people. So it says, happy, exclamation, exclamation point, explosion. This guy seems to think, thumbs up for guns, thumbs up for liking the game, empty rack. Anyways, lots of cool stuff. So that's Zombie Wii U, uh, Zombie U, and... Uh, you know, thanks for watching. Um, I'm, I, I mean, out of the three titles I have, I mean, we covered Nintendo Land, we covered um, New Super Mario Brothers U, and this now. Out of all three, I think this is my favorite because, like I said, it's the most unique. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed that look at Zombie U. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to continuing to play it because it's, it's again one of the most unique titles for the Wii U. Not. Not to make you guys want to go out and buy a Wii U, but it's titles like these that make it... It's like, okay, maybe this can be more than just my Nintendo machine. This can also be my machine to play unique games. I mean, the Wii certainly had a few of those, but when they did come out, they were pretty rad. So, um, pretty cool launch. And I'm looking forward to the next year until, you know, Xbox and PlayStation come out with their answers to uh not necessarily the wii u but they're they're next gen consoles i mean as many people will say the wii u isn't a next gen console sure it's not beefed up graphics it's not xbox 720 ps4 
But it is next gen. It's the next cycle. Like, Nintendo isn't going to release another console when the Xbox 720 and PS4 comes out. So I understand people's arguments saying it's not a next gen system. It's a current gen system. Yeah, if you look at it based on graphics, but if you look at it in based on the uh, time frame and cycles and whatnot, it is next gen. But uh, no, the graphics are not up to par with uh, what will be coming next. But um, the Wii proved, at least for me, graphics weren't everything. And, and having an HD signal is definitely going to help uh, keep this system alive. So I think that's where the Wii U kind of failed, or the Wii failed in the sense that like people started getting HD TVs and then everything they played looked like shit compared to their PS3 and Xbox. Whereas this doesn't look like shit. It it looks like what you would play on an Xbox or PS3, so uh, I look forward to the future games. So, anyways, I should stop rambling. Thanks for watching.